Hey, what's going on guys? Today we have some of the most beautiful box art I've seen in a long time. It's the Art Plot Gunbuster kit here. We'll take a closer look at the art, the box art here in just a minute for you guys. But this is part of Art Plus line of, it's a model kit, but it's basically like a fixed pose statue that you make with this. So it's a sort of like a plastic model kit version of what essentially would be like a resin garage kit or something. But this is of the Gunbuster and it also comes with the two characters in there as well. So for this review, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm basically just gonna go through the unboxing and then I'll show you guys what the kit is going to look like when it's all built up. I won't be painting it quite yet at this time. That'll be for a future video later on. I'll show you once it is ultimately painted. But for now, let's go ahead and check out this beautiful, beautiful box art. So let me show this to you guys so you can really get a good look at this. Vertical box art is always harder to show just because it doesn't match the uh, orientation of the video here for us, but at least can show that to you guys slowly so you can really get a good look at this awesome artwork even to give you guys a nice close-up look at that looks really cool and it would be awesome to try to paint it in a way that recreated all the colors and everything that you see here on this it looks fantastic this is the absolute defense battle of the solar system model kit here from Kyoto part of their art plot line here on the side of the box actually the end of the box you can see just how thick this is so it's a very thick box here over here on this side we got some information text there in Japanese photos of the fully built and painted kits the main kit and then the character kits as well close-up detail images here of a few aspects of the kit there again it's all using the painted sample this one right here I believe what the kit is going to look like straight out of the boxes and it's all molded in one color as far as I'm aware but we'll find out here obviously in a moment around on the other side here's a kind of breakdown of all the different sections not necessarily all the different parts because there's going to be more parts included than what you can see here but it's kind of a breakdown of the different sections. And then there's also some more information. It lets you know that you are going to need glue. And on that note, let's go ahead and pop open the box and check out all of the contents inside here. Yeah. First of all, it looks like we do have an amendment to the instructions here. So I think maybe a couple of the parts were just labeled with the wrong number or whatever. So make sure to hang on to that. We've got all of our runners. And yeah, it does look like the Gunbuster is molded, gonna be all in one color. And the characters are gonna be molded in a skin tone color plastic. We'll take a closer to look at the runners in just a moment. We do also have an advertisement in here for the Mr. Hobby aqueous colors that are specifically made for matching the Gunbuster color scheme. So a dark blue, a darker kind of blue gray, and then red and yellow colors. I mean, pretty straightforward colors, but if you want it, you can get the specifically Gunbuster aqueous colors. We do also have some included water slide decals here, which look pretty nice. Let's take a closer look at these. It's basically just the eye and mouth decals for the characters. And then you have three different versions of the Gunbuster 30th anniversary logo right there. One in white, one in black, and then one with this kind of black to yellow orange gradient there, which is really, really cool. And then another Gunbuster logo decal right there, as well as Kyoto and Art Plot decals. So really, really cool decals if you wanted to use these, uh, like one of those for an actual like custom display stand or something for this. So it's probably what I'll end up using those for. So really cool to have those included. And then we've got the instruction manual, which would be awesome to get this, just throw this into a frame, throw this up on the wall, because such beautiful artwork there. Looks really, really awesome. On the back side here, it looks like our parts list and it looks like everything is going to be in full color. Well, sort of anyway. And here is the painting guide and all the colors, everything laid out there for the Gunbuster and the characters. Looks like this is maybe based off of a soft vinyl kit there. And then we have the digital modeling and then the art plot sculpture, which is what we have here. So that's kind of cool, very interesting. Explanation, there's some text about the, I guess the designing of this kit there in Japanese. And yeah, on the inside, on the back side, it's going to be all of our construction, which is in color. The parts are just line art, but there is actually color here. So it's like sort of color. But very interesting flow of uh, construction there, it looks like, for this. But definitely not your uh, typical kind of model kit. We do also have a couple of pre-printed faces here for the characters. So in case you didn't want to paint those or didn't want to use the water slide decals, we have some included pre-printed faces. Looks like just the eyes and kind of the band-aid on the nose just kind of printed on these. That's kind of cool. But okay, let's check out the runners here. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the runners look a little bit different. They look a lot more similar to if you guys ever build like minis, which I don't, but I know that the runners look a lot more like this than your typical kind of Bandai or Kotobuki other like plastic model kit. And as you'll see, it's molded in a metallic injected dark purple color, which I think just 
snap built without doing any painting or anything on it is probably going to look really nice just uh, built up like that it'll look very cool i think but that was runner a here is runner b with some more of the parts here and just to show you guys how the label looks on here you can see we've got the Kyoto and Art Plot logos, and then the Absolute Defense Battle of the Solar System Gunbuster, Noriko Takaya, and Kazumi Amano right there, all the names up there at the top. Moving on then, here is Runner C with some of those larger parts on there. And while I was saying the molding looks really nice on this, on some of these large flat parts, which there's not too many of, the design just doesn't really have many areas where there's like a large flat surface, but on these parts in particular, you can see there's a little bit of like some sinks there in the plastic, which you may want to... Uh, sand and maybe put some putty in those if you want to get that nice and perfectly smooth and flat. Moving on here to runner D, as you can see, just some more parts there, small and large parts there for the shoulder, for example. Runner E looks to be like mostly parts here for the legs. You can see there's parts for the feet and parts for the lower leg, the thigh, and I think the ankle joint there. And then runner F here is going to be the last of our parts for the main gunbuster, including some very sharp pointed parts there for the head. So you're going to want to be super duper careful with those not to damage those parts. Lastly, then runners G and H are going to be all of our parts for the character kits, as you can see molded in a skin tone color. So we've got one runner for each of the characters and a fair amount of parts too, actually more parts than I was expecting. But on these as well, the detail looks really, really nice. And aside from that, also the mold lines are very, very minimal. So it looks like you'll have to do like really very minimal clean up work on these parts before they'll be ready to paint, which is nice. It just makes your life that much easier. So very cool. But all right, so that's all the runners. Like I said, I'm not going to be painting it in this video, but I will go ahead and get this all put together and we'll see how it looks. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, here he is all built up, obviously, before any painting, but this is basically the paint ready state for the Gunbuster so far. I wanted to show it to you guys like this just because number one, I'm actually surprised at just how big this is. It's bigger than I expected. As you can see, it's a pretty large kit. And if you aren't planning on painting it, this is exactly how it's gonna look, just straight out of the box. Now, I did do some seam line removal on here, and I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a second, but quite large and really cool looking design there with a lot of great detail on it. There was a little bit of work involved just to get rid of the seam lines, but definitely a fantastic looking gun buster here. So let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. So first off, if you wanna build just the straight arms, you have all the parts for that, even the big shoulder parts and everything here which I'm not gonna make so I just left those parts in the runner obviously I'm gonna stick with the big Chad pose here like that which these parts are quite interesting how those go together but here I've got the parts for the character kits uh, I've left these apart because I want to paint these uh, by airbrush but there is a couple of things that I want to point out to you guys about these kits is that both of the figure kits are gonna have seam lines on the main torso body section and a little bit of a seam like down the sides of those otherwise they don't so that's nice but you will also have some mold lines you're going to want to sand and get rid of so like here on the legs there was mold lines that I went ahead and sanded down and also the way that these go together you're actually meant to attach the legs inside the torso parts when you go to seal that up but like I said because I want to paint I want to keep these parts as separated as possible just to make it easier to paint by airbrush so I left them out but now the legs are not going to easily fit up into there there'll be no way to plug the leg actually up into there so what I'll have to do is just basically just trim down this part enough so that it fits up into that hole to plug into that and just basically glue in later once the painting is done so anyway like I said in the unboxing portion the figure kits have a ton of detail like here's the hair parts for example which look really good so those are going to look really nice once those are all painted as for the main kit pretty much everything is all glued together and like I said there were some seam lines and everything but I do have it still uh, not completely glued together there's basically sections so like the Shoulder sections here are not glued on. The head is also not glued on. There's some really, really fine tipped parts here on the head. And this is also one of the areas where there was a seam here on the back of the head. There was a seam there. I went ahead and got rid of these parts here on the back were probably the most difficult. It's because you have a seam that kind of goes through everything there. And then it also goes through these vent details. So I kind of had to sand the inside of there. And it maybe looks a little bit rough right now. But as far as I can tell, the seam is gone from everywhere where it really needs to be. Obviously, once I spray some surface around this, I'll be able to tell if there'll be any further cleanup required, but I think it should be pretty good. But I'll tell you guys, uh, when building the kit at first, you start off building the torso here. And as I was building the torso, I just kind of separated out into the parts here. As I was building the torso section, there is no seam lines anywhere around on this section of the build. And there's a happy face here on the back just to point that out to you guys. But yeah, putting this together, it was just like 
put this part on top of here, put this part on top of here, this part on top of here, this part on top of here. And it was going together all really so nicely. And I was just really, really impressed thinking like, wow, this is amazing. It's just like building like a resin kit, essentially. There's no seam lines or anything. You can just glue everything together and then you just hand paint it. And it's a easy, it's a dream, it's a breeze. But then once I got to the arms and legs, then there was obviously seams. So like here on this part on the side of the leg and the foot and the joints don't have any seams, but like this main section here for the thigh had seams on the left and right side and then for the lower section of the leg seams here as well so i did have to glue those and it wasn't a perfectly tight fit had to go in and use some super glue in there as well sand that down some more rescribe this line that goes through there as well so it, there was a little bit of cleanup required for those parts but like i said not really that bad and for right now this is just kind of all fitting back together temporarily in sections once everything's uh, at least painted with surfacer. I may wait till everything's completely painted entirely uh, to glue everything permanently back together. Yeah, like here for the crossed arm section at the front too, uh, I just kind of rescribed the line a little bit. Actually, there was no line, so I just kind of scribed a little bit of a more defined line kind of between where the arms cross over each other. But that's pretty much it. So like I said, if you are planning on getting this kit and not planning on painting it, this is how it's gonna look straight out of the box, which honestly doesn't look that bad. If you're just a fan of the Gunbuster design, obviously this is not uh, color accurate, but still it does make for a pretty cool just kind of display piece there of the Gunbuster. It looks pretty nice just in this kind of uh, metallic dark purple kind of color that it's molded in. But obviously it's gonna look a lot nicer once you actually go ahead and paint it. So once once I've got this all painted, I'll show you guys what the finished result is going to look like. But for now, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys do have any other further questions or comments about this kit, do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, and as always, guys, if you want to check out some more, and as always, guys, if you want to check out some more awesome mecha models for yourself, you can check the link in the video description right down there below the video. The USA Gundam store, we've got all sorts of cool stuff there for you guys. But for now, that's it for this video. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you're subscribed if you're not subscribed yet. And until next time, hope you all have a great day. See you guys later. Bye bye.